Past Mirren and then past McCall. O'Keefe breaking ahead of him and staying onside. And the whistle has gone for a free kick to Everton. There's some pushing by McCall on Eamon O'Keefe. Everton with the aerial car of Mick Ferguson. There's a focal point. Thomas curls it in. Ferguson glances it in. So Mick Ferguson proves once again that he can be a thorn in Ipswich's side. The goal in the second minute from Thomas's swinging free kick. Just the touch there from Ferguson and Everton lead. from Mariner, sat up nicely for Gates. Eric Gates, who's made a career really out of scoring spectacular goals from just that sort of range. And Paul Mariner's flick here, guided it down beautifully for Gates, who followed the dipping shot. Gates turning straight into Lyons. Now McBride. Osman has had to go across and McBride beats him. Bailey! Going through a phase at the moment, Alan Bailey, where the goal was doing the world of good. With the advantage of Everton using an orthodox winger in Joe McBride, seen again. Gets to the byline. Bailey's head up. Here's O'Callaghan. Tracked by O'Keefe. Walk has darted away to the far post. As Butcher plays it here for McCall. Now O'Callaghan. They're queuing up for the cross in the middle. Which O'Callaghan provides for Gates. And now for Walk. And John Walk can't believe that the chance has gone and Neville Southall can complain of lack of protection. And so Callaghan finally played it in here for Gates who missed control. Southall then lost it himself and Walk with really an open goal turned it wide. First genuine chance that Ipswich have created and it's taken them 35 minutes. Trevor Ross using McBride as the decoy good skill by McMahon that brought him a shooting chance and it was hit with real power but straight at Paul Cooper Steve McMahon who scored in the first minute last week at West Ham Paul is going forward ahead of him but this is Muren and now Gates Touched back by Mariner, it's beautifully set up for Eric Gates. And Gates will work it in now. And Ipswich have equalised. Carl oh, Muren playing it initially to Gates, who linked up with Mariner. Gates' first opportunity was here. Well, he might have had a push at Mike Lyons to get the chance. He came back at him. And that time he couldn't miss. A little bit of a heart flutter too for the scorer. <laughs> Ross again involved at the set piece. Here's Lyons. Crowd behind the goal feeling that Lyons was pushed. Lions once more, and it'll come here for Stevens. Oh my word! In his third first team game, Gary Stevens, the 18 year old. Well, he's such
such a calm youngster who really has fitted in so well when the opportunity to play in the first division has been presented to him. It came to him on his left foot and he drilled it past Cooper. Osman trying to play it forward in the direction of Mariner but not hitting his pass at all and it's let O'Keefe forward here. And McBride in acres of space and a chance here for Joe McBride in against Paul Cooper. Ferguson couldn't convert the ball as it dropped to him. And then Ross with a really intelligent trip. But dropped just over. This was the chance that presented itself to Joey McBride. Pushed out by Cooper. Ferguson couldn't collect. Butcher just prodded it away. And Ross looking up, sizing up the situation, chipping it towards Cooper. But it dropped just over the goalkeeper and over the bar. Here's McMahon. Ferguson. Now Bailey. Now Ferguson. Blocked by the legs of Cooper. Bailey again. And that came out of John Walk. What a remarkable series of events. The referee looks at the watch. And Everton celebrates their best win to date under Howard Kent.